this is the most affordable way to get Wi-Fi 7 on your home network. It is the Tenda BE 3600 router. But does being affordable mean that it is lacking in performance? We're gonna find out in this video by putting this router through its paces. We're gonna test its internet speed, why the network is loaded with devices streaming and downloading files, and why the network is not being used also. And we're gonna also test its range. So let me start first by showing you what comes in its box. Let's open the box. This is everything you get in the box, some documentation, an NFC label, an Ethernet CAT 5E cable, a power adapter, and the router. For the ports and controls, this router is very simple. It has five fixed antennas, and on the back of the router, you have three Ethernet ports that are at the same time WAN and LAN ports, and they are one gigabits per second. This is a DC in port, and this button here is to reset the router, and it is also to join a mesh system. I have set up the router now on my PC. If you want to see how to set up a Tenda router, I have previously made a video about that. You can check the link for this video in the description. Now I'll be starting the tests and the first test I'll be doing is an internet speed test and I connected my PC to the 5 GHz band of the router. The first test I'll be doing is without any load on the network. I have an internet download speed of 500 megabits per second and upload speed of 50 megabits per second. And without any load on the network, the router was giving the full speed of my internet connection and this is a good result. The second internet speed test I'm doing is by loading my network with three TVs playing 4K movies and one PC downloading a very large file that is 60 gigabytes. And here the router speed was of course affected. So it was giving around one sixth of my internet download speed and it was giving two thirds of the upload speed. And despite this, I don't find that this result is bad because I was still getting very good internet speed despite all these devices working on the network. The next test I'm doing and that you are looking at now is to determine the shear speed of the router by removing the internet factor. So I connected two PCs on the 5 GHz band to the router and I am copying a 10 GB file from one PC to the other. And as you see, the copying speed is almost stable and it is varying from 40 to 50 megabytes per second and this is a very good result for this router. To test the range of the router, I connected my iPhone to the 5 GHz band of the router and I walked out of my apartment in the hallway of the apartment building and the router started cutting at around the 30 yards mark. Just before it started cutting, it was still giving 3.4 megabits per second download speed and 1.4 megabits per second upload speed and this range is okay in my opinion. Now, being an entry-level router doesn't mean that this router doesn't have advanced features, but it also lacks some features, and I'm gonna show you in a glance the features here. So, for instance, it has WPA3 security. You need to activate it, so go under Wi-Fi settings and scroll, and for both bands, activate under security WPA3, and don't forget to click on save when you finish activating it. Now you saw that it doesn't have the 6 GHz band and this is one of the features that is lacking in this router. Now for the other features, click on more and you have the guest Wi-Fi which is good but when you enable guest, you don't have a separation between the two bands so you don't know the guest Wi-Fi is it working on the 2.4 or the 5 GHz band. So also it has working mode, it has all these working modes router mode that is the mode that the router is working on now and it has also access point mode wisp mode and client plus access point mode and it has ipv6 tr069 in case your isp can remotely configure your router you need to enable this here smart power saving and also under wi-fi settings you see that it has ofdma and it has also mesh capabilities. Now let me show you one thing that I wanted this router to have. So if you go to VPN, you see that it has only the PPTP protocol for the server and PPTP slash L2TP protocols for the client. So it doesn't have the WireGuard nor the OpenVPN protocols. So it has the basic features to get you started on Wi-Fi 7. 
and if you don't need the other features this router is really very good one thing also that i wanted to be present in this router and in all tender routers as a matter of fact they lack a usb port and this is a message to tender to include usb ports in their routers this will make them much more attractive if you want to check out the tenda wi-fi 7 be 3600 router i'm gonna leave an amazon affiliate link in the description if you make a purchase using my link i'll gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will support my channel and if you like this video please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i want to thank you all for watching i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech see you in the next video